Hello, hello, one and all. It's me, Phil, a.k.a. Philodoxical, and I'm back! Um, so, admittedly, I may have made mistakes last time. I went off, I got sidetracked, and then I shot somebody in the back of the head with an arrow, triggering end of days to test something for science. However... We have a lead on where two of the tablets are um, and one of the missing people. Uh, so what we're going to do is straight away, we're going to go into the temple, which is where we need to take the bow. And I'm actually going to try and do some like main mission stuff today. Yay! Way! I mean, come on. This is this is great progress. Um... Let, let's see how long this lasts before I get sidetracked by something shiny, really. But yes, let's go. And hopefully, I'm going to work on articulating my pronunciation and delivery too, so I look a bit more professional. And again, we'll see how long that lasts. I don't think it's going to be very long. Okay, so here we are outside of the Shrine of Diana. I'm going in, I'm going in, and we're going to do a mission before I go look at any more loofers or weeping angels or... Oh, God, that straight away didn't go well. Oh, hello. Extinguish the braziers. Dun, 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 dun. This is like playing thief, in it? Right, bow. Do I jump on your head? Do I jump to get the bow? Oh, I do. Boom, there we go. There's probably somewhere I was meant to like climb up and do that properly, but I'm just like, nope. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Well, that was easy. Is that you, partner? Do you have the bow? No. Wait, why is the door locked? Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me and I'll unlock it for you. Uh! A little bit slow. Wow. Yes, I locked you in. And until you give me my bow, you're going to stay in there like Tantalus in Tartarus. Wow. Okay, so false imprisonment. Oh, no. And I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. If we were to split all those riches oh, sorry, we're meant to be doing diplomacy. It's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. Oh, will that trigger, like, the golden rule, though? Threatening to kill him. Or do I have to actually draw blood? Because I think yesterday you had to actually... It was the threat before blood was drawn when the gladiator was threatening the magistrate. Yeah, he's going to leave me in here. Consider my position quickly, if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest. And they can be rather aggressive toward each other. I am done now. You know, some found that. Twenty-seven hornet stings to kill a man, but I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out if they were right, shall we? Uh, well, straight away, I've got the bow out, so. Oh, sweet. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. They're descending. They're descending. They're descending. I've descended. Yay. Um, oh, God, that. Oh, that was a funny low time. Um, right, suddenly, as soon as the nest dropped, all the hornets started, like, coming down. So, that was probably a timed thing to get us out of there before we got mobbed. So, I don't need to use LT to aim, it's just RT. But there's also no zoom function. What is that? Sponge stick. Yeah, that's the communal toilet. Great. Found one of them yesterday and got an achievement. 
uh, picking up the bum scrub, which I'm going to call it, just so we're clear. Are they butterflies? Oh! <gasps> Wait a minute. Hang on. I think I've just realised. I think I've just realised what the... Uh, what the bow and arrows for so this one does literally turn everything to gold and the butterflies keep hovering over certain items so when we saw all, all those vines on the tree and things oh how do I run oh LT sorry I've literally just done that Whee! um yeah I think we um, gold whatever the butterflies are near and then we can open new paths and traverse different ways. Oh, somebody did. Ugh. Looks like they're partially skinned. Oh, there's a lot of loading down here. My beloved Galatea. I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand what I've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. Oh I'll no. Start at the beginning. Soon after oh, there we go. arrival here, as I walk down a corridor lined with golden statues. I thought I heard a whisper behind Yeah, me. I've got that. A rasp of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bathhouse, I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right I've at I've had that as well. As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again, and turning back, I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my face. Proper weeping angel. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. This was a woman trapped within that golden prison naturally i told the others but when i could not reproduce the results of my experiment they would not believe me but from that moment on i knew the full horror of this place immobilized within these statues are living human beings it was that day my love that my heart broke but who's putting them on the plinths and on the pedestals as if displaying them? They're not getting there themselves. Some of them look like proper posed. So there's there's definitely someone posing them. Some are, are being left where they fell, like the one around the corner. Others are... Oh, can't go there. Others are, like, being posed. Like, this one, I would say, has been left where it fell. But others are, like, they've been moved places specifically. Run and jump that. Do I... Oh, God. This is where we die. No! Oh, no. Boom. Nailed it. Had every faith. way up there yeah there's there's something else kind of going on here so does this work on ah anything when you hold the fire option down as well anything that you can turn to gold is actually highlighted so watch this that highlights and then that one obviously hasn't highlighted them too far away but that does the same. Somebody was going to jump. Can I kick you down there just to see what happens? 
So we've now got like hardcore parkour. Oh, he says messing around and falling off the uh, the ledge. Oh, Phil, come on. Oh, this looks nice. It's a bit too nice. A little, a little bit too nice. Oh, what? Maybe this is the palace. Because if we've got, uh, is it Neveria or Nvidia's? Or is, that's the gaming card. Right. The medicine lady, the doctor, if we've got her journal, she locked herself in the palace. Maybe we found a back entrance to the palace by going through the tunnels. This is the palace. We're getting a lot of arrows, so I think we are maybe going to have a combat situation. I was going to say, I wonder if shooting um, the wood would break the beams. The only problem is it'd probably make them solid gold and I wouldn't be able to get out anyway. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, I hate the sound of that scratching noise because it means they've turned around to look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the things from the cistern. Ooh, okay. Double tap with the arrow work. Somebody's fortified that door. A single headshot. Oh, so it's two to the body or one to a single headshot. Kill me. Thank you. Oh, I do not like that. Please do not talk to me, you weird little creepy statue. Okay, this is like a massive no-no. I'm not liking this. There's something outside. Oh, it's the statue behind me. Something's just moved. I've just noticed there's like gold pouches and stuff. So I'm just having a look see at what I can uh, <clears throat> procure, not steal, because we'd get into trouble. Oh, this is nice. Although it's night time, which may... Oh, no, not yet. Oh, no, there's things... Oh, hello. Do I shoot you? How do I cancel a shot? B? That's jump. I can't cancel a shot, can I? Do I Y? No, I just have to let... Oh, fudge. That was a waste of an arrow. I was looking for ways to cancel a shot then. To, uh, to not waste an arrow, because I don't know if this is going to be like... Um, if the arrows are finite or if we've got like... Um, a select amount that we can use, kind of like um, Outlast on batteries. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hey up. They're attacking the other statues. Which is a bit weird. I mean, the only problem is you want me down there. So before we jump down the creepy ass hole with the creepy ass statues, let's just have a little uh, look see, see what we might be missing out on. See, that woman's up here. Oh, okay. D never mind. So the woman's up there, but we can't get in. So it wants us to go down and out. So maybe this will take us to an alternative. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate the fact the thank you as well. The thanking you is like the creepiest thing. And I wonder how I'll get my health back. Like if in combat I got clipped on the butt yesterday and I lost a bit of health. I wonder how I get my health back if there's like healing items or what. Because we've not been able to eat any food so far. Do not trust that. Boom! Headshot from a distance, yo! Oh, hello. Okay, that was messy. And I'm just going to kick you over for the sake of you made that messy. They got right up in my face and I made that very messy then. Ooh, what's that actually holding? Oh, my health bar's actually gone back up. So maybe it um, it recovers every time I take some sort of um, trip into like a new area or go back through time. I mean, going back through time would make sense because it'd be before the damage happened. Oh, no. I don't think there's going to be any in the tunnel, but... That one's still alive. So I'm getting some headshots. But not all headshots. The only thing is, I want to know what's in here now. Probably going to be more of them hidden around the corners. There's a chesty chest. Oh, okay. I could have taken the other way up without having to come in here. And I wouldn't have got like the goodies, but I would have avoided the combat and saved some arrows. Yeah, or you can just jump straight up here, miss the chest unless you jump down. Oh, it was a way to like kind of outsmart them or parkour around them. That is entirely on me. This is where they're going to be in the caves around the corner or somewhere. Seems very 
Sus. Found any healing items or is that gold? Hello! Right, so at the moment, we're okay. Oh, fudge! Yeah, it wanted me to look at the vase just as I fired. Aha! Oh, that's why I was meant to have left the water alone. Got one rear. Still got one creep in there. I just need a clean shot on the head. Yeah, their head's kind of blocked by the statue. There we go. Yes, come on. Okay, we're getting better. We're getting better with the headshots. Bless Skyrim for all the practice. That's the one that we saw wandering around. I just love being like an archer. Oh, there we got one before they even came out. Uh, I love being an archer in games like Skyrim and things. I kind of, I love sniping. I'm just not great at it. But practice makes perfect. So that's all of those out of the way. If I don't walk straight down a room and kind of keep some benefit, just, oh God. Oh no. Oh, the doctor's trying to peel. That's why they're flayed. She's trying to peel them to get the human out. Oh, God, no. Then that's not how it works. Oh, she's taught. Oh, God. It's like literally going to be torturing them. My beloved. I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company, I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became oh, more concerned, I'm like a couple of pages behind here. I sought solitude from them, preferring the company of my tour. Sorry, that was my fault. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales. My mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa. She wanted to redeem them. And Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor who fell in love with the beautiful statue, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name. Just one I have borrowed from a story. But when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face forever frozen in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose. To free you from your golden prison. 
so that I might one day hear you speak, not just whisper your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work. But unfortunately, they've been getting out in the tunnels and the cistern and everything. They're not as contained as she thinks they are. Oh, my only problem is I noticed this yesterday. One minute. Right, I had the music on 55, but I've just turned it down again because even though it's well below everything else, it's still really loud at parts during the dialogue and I just don't want people to miss it. Oh, no. I mean, in theory... The door's locked, so they won't be up here yet. Unless she's bought some up to experiment on, in which case there will be loads of them. Oh, got an impromptu uh, load screen. Yeah. Got one rear. Back up! Oh, this is not working so well. Right, kick you into them and then freeze that one on the floor. Oh, the ones on the floor don't actually get turn to gold and I should probably be stood up to be able to kick them better but yeah the ones on the floor just stay down they don't need turn into gold once they're down so if I get a horde of uh, enemies I can gold one of them and then the rest just kick what's in here Oh, that was probably to stop them all coming out. Yeah, the curtains, if I'd been quick enough, I could have tagged both sets of curtains and contained them in here without having to fight them at all. Not seeing anything at the moment. That's locked. That's the way it wants me to go. But before we go that way, I'm now curious what's in here. And this is probably not going to go very well. Right, scenery's blocked that door. We can't climb up there. Okay, nothing's in there. So what must have happened is there was enemies in here as a spawn point as well. When I triggered the others, they all came running out. Oh, you've got gold. Hello. Thank you. I mean, I, I don't want to sound tight, but they're not going to be using it. is gold isn't it that bit's not though oh see i'm paying attention oh that actually covered everything never mind oh 
Oh, to climb over the broken bit. That's clever. The only thing is, now I've climbed over it. How do I... That golded, this is, that's golded everything. Nice, beautiful. So we're just climbing this all the way over here. Right, we've got somebody there. So what I'm going to do is hit the curtain. Yeah, so you can't get out. Make it stop. You. Kill me. Help us. Oh, I don't like this. I just don't like the voices. Right, if I Make it stop. was right. Oh, there we go. There's only one to block. I was going to say, if we run round... We might have been able to block the other way. Can I kick them and knock them over? Yes, beautiful. We've got one there, but they're down already. Beautiful. And um, yeah, I was going to run round and try and get the second set of curtains, uh, but there wasn't any. From here, you can just easily pick people off. The only thing is, there's there's goodies down there. If I got a vase, I can knock over. Nobody's coming. So if somebody else came in, I was going to shoot the second set of curtains and, like, uh, pin them in. I had shot. The head sways quite a bit. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, the head sway. So that's why I'm trying to, like, hit them, like, square in the head. And then we don't have to use as much ammo. See, they're in there, but I now want to see what's down here. Oh, the door's barricaded. Never mind, we are going down here anyway. See, I'm not like just breaching a room and running in gun ho I need to be careful in case they're around the corner. Because uh, when we got hit earlier, they do quite a bit of damage. So like here... Somebody around the corner to the right. Nope, statue. That's me. That's me. Oh, hello. Hi, everybody. Ah. Thank you. See, I'm learning. It may be a slow and painful process for anyone I'm fighting. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And we've got a backup if we get chased. If we get chased by multiples, we can run down here, lure them, and then um, hit the second lot of uh, moss as well. I'm trying to watch corners and shadows. Because of um, how they're coloured, like they've got the gold upper, but a uh, brownie black bottom where they've been flayed and the, uh, the flesh is all rotting away. 
Um, so they could probably hide quite easily in the shadows. My attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first charge was a Greek woman who I called Iodami after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great... She's basically skinning them alive. I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat. Because of all the pain. All her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. She just tortured her. Diodami to attack. She was clearly Torturing her is probably what caused her to attack. And I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this God's forsaken place. Okay, I get where she's coming from. I can understand she's trying to do it for somebody she loves. However, I'm really, really not on board with the methodology she's using. And I think she may have gone off the deep end and is, excuse the medical term, a bit batshit crazy. She's literally torturing people, but is unable to see that's what she's doing. She's torturing them. It'll be like having somebody flaying you alive, skinning you alive, and peeling the skin off your body. Okay, so that's the person we've just learned about on the other side of the door. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's like they're peeling, she's peeling them alive. They're probably screaming, but because they're gold, you won't hear it. Oh! Hello. Okay, um, that scared me a little bit. That, that definitely scared me, just a tiny little bit, just a little bit. You may have heard the ah! uh, screamy shrieky, that, that was me, that, I'm not gonna lie, that was me. Right, kick, oh. Ah, there we go. The kicking works. 
The only thing is, though, my health is... Uh, my health is getting wrecked. The only thing is, I hit the pool. Oh, there was a green vase to wake them up and lure them. I missed the green vase. I was meant to wake them up and lure them, and I fudged it. Okay, tactical, I am not. Beautiful headshot, look at that. I mean, I probably shouldn't be taking pride in how I'm killing people, but that was a good headshot. Quick reaction and everything. Oi, is there anyone else in here? You have to tell me if there is. Can I not just close the door and put one of them behind it to uh, make it secure? I think that's just like a statue stat. Oh god, look at that. This is... This is horrific. And there are all the people she was planning on skinning. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is... This is horrible. I should actually get the bow back out again. Oh, the, the bow. Where's the, the bow? There we go. Yep, yeah, there we go. See, there was a distraction vase, but no, um, oh, how do I, there was a distraction vase, and I can't even cancel my shot, here, just take that in the head, will you? Um, yeah, a distraction vase, but nothing popped up. Right, I found gold on the side as well. Oh, hello. The half peeled. Oh, no. That's the lady that she... Oh, no. Oh, look at her face. She's tried peeling around her mouth. Oh, hello. You have crazy eyes. You you have crazy eyes. You you you're gone. Who broke into my palace and hello, that's my me. Experiments. And worst of all, killed them all. What you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you just stayed away. Uh, you're going to pay for that. And do you think I care about that? I don't care what happens to Diplomacy. You, as long as you get what you deserve. Liar. I locked him <sighs> down the gate. I left a message okay. warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most... I need to try and do diplomacy and, this. like, talk her down. Look at her. She's in agony. You my did it! Was to spend my last moments with her. To see her beautiful face. Aww. To hear her speak freely. Instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work. She stopped whispering to me. And now I discover she started whispering I'm to me. I'm a favourite. Oh yeah. What's so special about you? I'm a favourite. What do you mean, the same voice? It's like somebody else, yeah. Hmm. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. Similar. 
I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. It was the exact if same one. Bodies are mere conduits for that one voice. Then this body is nobody. And everything I've done here was absolutely horrible. It's like the island of Dr. Moreau. Uh oh. Trying to steal her away from me. Oh no, here we go. Paranoia. Psychosis. Then swoop in. Is that it? No. Liar. You tried to steal her away from me. You're the one peeling skin off people, you absolute crazy woman. Because I will shoot you in the face. What? What are you talking about? Wait. So you're saying... No! You weren't coming for us. I did say that, you absolute crazy woman. So I did all this. I ruined her. Oh God, this is going to push you over the edge. Uh oh, uh oh. I am. I can't bear the thought of her being like this, and in so much pain. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. It's agonizing for. Oh, it's the fact you're peeling the skin from their body. Golden rule, and let it run its course. At least that way, she'd be golden again, and we'd be together. All it would take is one little cut. <laughs> the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay, minor problem here. Oh crap, they're, they're actually in the palace still. Yeah. We maybe should have shown her the bow and then she might have believed we could turn her to gold. I mean, she's gold now, but I, I don't think that counts. This has gone, I think, horribly, horribly wrong. I don't know, to be fair. Because how could we have saved the lady that's been half peeled? And why does it have to load now when I'm in the middle of a, like, escape sequence? <laughs> Run! Right, stupid plan. Stupid plan. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. I'm curious about something. I'm curious about something. Can I hide up here? Climb, climb, climb. Oh, there's a chest up here. Oh, found money. Oh, no. No, apparently I can't hide up there. Woo! I only came for the gold. Escape and evade! Escape and evade! Duck and weave! Duck and weave! There's something behind me. Oh god, it's coming! Whoa! Whoa! That I just heard that whiz pass. Right, run, 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 run. I could go get no, that's not got to get the gold. Let's not get the gold. Let's leave. Ooh. Oh my god. That was um that that was intense. That was intense. Um Okay. Was that meant to happen? Because I got an achievement. I got an achievement. Maybe that was meant to happen. Am I just trying to justify I'm trying to justify murder here? Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Oh, I need you to take care of some things really urgently. Sounds serious. I'm listening. All right, let me see. Stop oh no. Going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. 
Yulia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Oh, we can... Galerius, we can delegate jobs to, to kind of help save people quicker. That is cool. And now I know all the gold comes back. Uh, we can actually be loaded. Right. Uh, I am going to... Hardcore park... Oh, no, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. I was going to hardcore park off. Run and jump! Hit the water! Yay! Okay. Uh, that was a stupid way of doing that. But we managed to hit the water. Right, there was some butterflies around here, wasn't there? On one section. Aha, over here. I eh, jump out. Fletched arrow. The only thing is, I still keep doing um, the jumping. So I need to stop jumping. When we're trying to put things away. See, I thought there was some gold around there, but... No, they're just trying to get a... Um... An apple. So I was wondering if that white plant at the peak of here had any significance. I'm, I'm trying to jump out to get that white plant up there. And I actually jump on this guy's head. Oh, no, can I? Can I jump on his head? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to see if that had, like, any significance. Just because it's, like, um... A white plant just out there on its own. I don't think there was anything in here that I could turn. Oh my god. Do I? Oh god. This is probably going to go horribly wrong. Hey, you got golden goose! The only thing is, are people going to be mad I turned their goose golden? People might actually be mad I'd turn their goal. Oh no, how are they going to get eggs? Uh oh. Ah, I'll be fine next time, you know, we restart everything. <laughs> That's how much faith I have. Things are going to go horribly, horribly, like, wrong. And we are going to have to start again. Right, for now though, at the top of here, at the top of there, there was like a bit of grass. That was going up onto another part of rock. And I'm wondering. What that does and what is that? Somebody drying leaves by hanging them off of a twig. It's a bit strange. It's very strange. Right, so if we go to the top of the tower, we'll go grab a couple of hundred, if not like a thousand and odd more gold. Speaking of gold, there should be, there we go, boom. Yeah, from where uh, the election takes place, we can go there. There it is. So there's that, and I tried to jump on it um, before, and I just fell through. And I think it might be because I was waiting to get the bow. I mean, 250 ain't bad. Oh, what's this? Treasure Hunter. Ooh, nice. There's a... There's a person up there. Is that a person or a statue? 
Hey up. I sense something very sus is going on up here. Oh, 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 oh. Do not fall. Do not fall. Oh, I can zip line all the way down. Oh, here's a person. Oh, hello. Salve, friend. I'm Salve. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? I'm actually doing good. How are you? Ah, another stoic, perhaps. We all need something to help us through times like these. I've got loads of wine. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Oh, oh, can we can we just come out and say that? Because Christians are like persecuted. Please, please keep that to yourself. Yes, spot I on. Not from around here, but things Yeah, are they're difficult. persecuted and hunted. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us its scapegoats. Yeah. There were executions. Oh, It was horrible. So she been dead a year longer than everyone else? Even if I had seen it, and I'm not saying I have, I couldn't in good conscience give it to you. That's all I'll say. No worries. Don't threaten her. We need to keep her on our side. Here, in this place, the magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. So he's the magistrate's was. kind of slave, whereas everyone else Florida. works for Maliolus. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. Oh! But long hours of menial labor oh. for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A and it sunk. Out, and I was pushed overboard. Oh, she drowned. The last thing I remember was the water rising up to hit my cheekbone. I On the river, the river with a stranger, but can't remember. Thing. Yes, oh, we know right. this story. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. But why why do people why does why does everyone say that? I like how we're gonna ask God, don't you mean gods? And we've literally just called her out as a Christian. So we already know she's a Christian. If you like. I'm afraid not. Although I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumours. But if you're desperate and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. If that doesn't okay. work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until God That's the hemlock. The gods decide our fate. Oh, I see. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. I'm sorry I even suggested it. I won't make that mistake again. What do you think of the golden rule? Hmm. The many shall Ulpius, the I think, is about to throw himself off that ledge, so we might want to hurry this up. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbours as ourselves, and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth. Oh, but all of us are okay. Born with a tendency towards sin. And are we? Where I get oh. Stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? No, nature versus nurture. You don't think that's a little naive? Hmm. I suppose you've never seen what I've seen. Innocent men and women torn apart in arenas while thousands of Romans look on and cheer. Hmm. I wish I shared your faith. I believe in Cthulhu, so, I mean, if you want to come and join the Cthulhu religion with me... We can do Lovecraftian. For 
to getting to know you better over the coming months. The one true god is Cthulhu. Oh no, don't, whoa, 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 no, 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 what, no, whoa, what are you doing, where are you going, if you lose your balance, you'll fall, that's the idea, uh oh, why, why would you want that, why do you think, suicide pact, for the rest of my life, working for a man who treats me like an animal, I know, I know things are hard for you right now, they're hard for all of us, we're all in this together, Ulfius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Suicide doesn't please break the golden this. rule, though. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. I'll shoot him and turn him to gold. I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. Oh. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. Oh. Good luck with this, I'm out of here. <laughs> I should do that one. And please, choose your words carefully. Oh, uh, I'm not going to bluff because that didn't work so well last time. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. Uh... You're not going to trick me. I'm no coward. I intend to go through with it. Please don't. Like what? I I'm saved your friend. I'm away for that Culus Cumulatis for the rest of my life. What do I have to live for? You're just saying that to buy time. You must think I'm an idiot. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! Oh, no. Oopsie daisy. I can't believe he went through with it. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, Uh-oh. That poor lamb. Uh-oh. Well, I suppose uh, uh -oh. suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. We we saved his suicide pact buddy. God is responsible for it. It isn't mine. I I really don't know if there is a god because this is really subjective as to what they think is right and wrong. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Wait, are you going to go find more Christians? Are, are you off to go? Can I come with you? I need to look for uh, Quinticus. Show me where your Christians are. Take me to your Christians. Oh, this is really nice. Sorry, we're emotional moment. I forgot. Will she actually mind if I'm following her like right behind? Who watches through that? Who watches? Ooh. Oh, it's like a little balcony over there. It's nice. I mean, if she goes to the cave system, we know where the Christians hang out. This is... The palace. Because Quinticus has um, a green eye and a blue eye. And he's head of the Christians. Or the Christian cult. So we might find him by following her. And if she goes right to the end and takes a left, she's off into the cave system. Yep, there we go. Because that's going to go into the forum and the cave system's right at the top of this ramp. So we could run ahead of her, but I think we'll be better off staying behind her in case we panic her if like, she sees us. Because the Christian temple isn't actually that far away. I think it's just down here and to the right. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. So it's the one with it. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Oh, let me in. Udge. Oh, there's a. Wait, there's a something there. Wait, where would that come out? 
There's a there's a way potentially to sneak into the Christian's lair. Well, the the temple. So if I ran and beat her, I could literally push my way in the door. There's nowhere else where this kind of joins up. Or I could find out where she lives and try and steal the key. Hmm. See, I thought following her would be the best bet because then she wouldn't get spooked and, like, stop going to where she was going. Right, that just goes around to the toilets. That's where we found the poop stick. You're getting... Okay. That's not high enough to jump into. We did actually have a clue saying to go against the water. So maybe there's a way to collapse the fountain. Make it passable. This is the palace. Which we can't get back into unless we go through the underground again. Hmm, this is all very... Yeah, that's the um, the skinned trying to escape. The only thing is, if they ever did escape, they would just have, like, free reign on the city because we got rid of all the weapons. There'd be no way to stop them. He's watching me loot his goodies. Where's the aqua... See there, the aqua... Oh, hang on. That aqueduct's got like a ramp. No, this isn't the aqueduct because this has no water running on it. That's an invisible wall, so we can't go that way. I'm just having like a little run of. Oh, hello. We'll run around. A creative way into the upper cistern. So we found the upper cistern. Oh, this is all very exciting. We're finding like so many new areas today and finding like so many new things. It's just, I wonder if I could have talked the doctor down though and got to return to the society to the collective that's like a little invisible wall this is where we need to find the plaques So I think whoever is he is actually in here. I'm just looking to see if there's any chests or anything. Some goodies. Great temple door. So this is the plaque everyone was speaking of. It says, is that a, oh God, this is going to be, it says follow him. And I really, really,
think this is going to be a stupid idea. It looks like there's water. It looks like there's water down there. It, it looks like some kind of pool. It looks like there's maybe a hole or there's some kind of pool. But I think for today, for today, what we're going to do is we're going to end it right here. Come back next time to find out if I survive throwing myself off of a cliff. Oh my god, this game is so addictive. It's fantastic. It's fun. It's imaginative. I love the puzzle solving. I, I just want to see what happens. But yeah, there's just so much to it. I cannot wait to do the next episode and to push on and see what exactly we have to look forward to. But now, for now though, as I said, we're going to wrap up and not make this another three hour long video. But today, I have been Phil, aka Philodoxical. You have been awesome. And no matter what you decide to play, I hope you have a fantastic time gaming. And I'll see you in the next one.